Okay, this is one of the last two little rants or ramblings, whatever you want to call them, on Final Fantasy. And in this case, I decided to be a little more broad in my topic. This topic would be about the gender issues, maybe. Although more so uh, gender perception, those sorts of things. First would be this initial one. This could be a two-parter. I'll just call it kind of yeah, female and feminine in Final Fantasy. I was saying that three or four times fast. That just came up off the top of my head. But yeah, this first part is going to be about all the females in Final Fantasy, which I felt, and except, unfortunately, that they're always going to be underrepresented a little bit. Even from the ones where, eh, there's really no f distinctly female characters. Final Fantasy 1 and 3 just have these kind of nameless protagonists that could be either gender virtually, so it's, uh, you could have an all-female or an all-male cast, so those kind of aren't applicable here, but 2, 4, 6, 7, oh no, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, 11, 12, although maybe not 11 as much, 11 does have some issues, particularly with, I don't know, other things, but if I'm going to be putting these pictures in order, let's start with the ones that I try to get to, like Sephiroth, uh, Laguna, Zidane, or Zidane, Kuja, Seymour, Titus, and a few others. Although, never mind, that's in the second part, but regardless, in this part it would just be every other female character. I have just this one wallpaper I found that kind of shows virtually every female from Maria in the first one, then we have uh, Rosa, Rydia in four, in five we have Lena and uh, Ferris, in six we have, uh, what is it, we have Tara, we have a few more, I think Tara and, I'm not certain about that one, seven we have Tifa, Eris, and Yuffie, along with maybe a few others like uh, Elena and Scarlet. Eight, we have Renoa, Selfie, Kistis, uh, Adia, Adele, although Adele looks admittedly masculine, which is one of the issues anyway in itself. Can you really say that's a sorceress when it looks like a chick that took steroids? Although Adele is admittedly giant in proportions anyway. Just like seven, eight foot tall. Arrgh, I'm going to scare you. And nine, we have Garnet, Dagger, those are the same person, Dagger's just an alias. Aiko, Freya, even though Freya looks like a really, really gaunt chick, although kind of a rat chick. Uh, who else do we have? Braun, the worst example of femininity in Final Fantasy ever that I can remember. Well, maybe I can't say that completely because I haven't played the classics. Ten features Yuna, Riku, Lulu, and a couple of other supporting characters such as uh, Seymour's mother, who is unnamed, along with, oh yes, Titus's mother, who is also unnamed, but they have a female presence in the game, at least. Final Fantasy XII, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pretty much stop at ten two, which I'll get to right now, which would include a few new faces such as Payne, LeBlanc, think at least one more. Oh yeah, Len. Of course. How can I forget Len? It was really just you know with diff slightly different hairstyles and slightly different facial features. But on to the representation. S it would be clear that it was only until about four that they really didn't have much of a feminine presence. I mean two had Maria and that was virtually it. Except maybe Barbaricia, who was a uh, one of the arch fiends in two, I believe. I believe it was two, or am I getting it mixed up with four? I might be. No, I definitely am. Four has a Barbaricia, Scarmiglione, Cognizo, and uh, uh, Rubicante. But two did have fiends, but I don't think they really had genders at that point. Uh, but Maria was kind of our only female character, but I guess it was better than nothing back then. From four onwards, it was a little more progressive, or more trying to incorporate these female perspectives and female characters. Rydia in particular has the interesting presence of 
advancing in age because of the little time warp issue. Rosa has her romance with Cecil and all that shit. And I believe... Hmm. I don't know if it was... No, it wasn't. Four was Zemus. I'm thinking of two, where the final boss is a, basically a chick. A evil chick with a... It's like a dark cloud, I believe. If, not, if I'm not mistaken, either that or that's three. I'm really not familiar completely. Someone correct me if I'm wrong about the dark cloud thing. So I think that was either two or three. Anyway, on to five, which has, you know, it's a princess, and then we have the person, the, uh, well, it's, Ferris might be the first example of a effeminate uh, character that initially, yes, behaves very masculine and all, but then it's discovered, oh, you're a girl, oh no. And there's other spoilers, but I won't bring, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, although, yeah, it's basically a spoiler, Ferris is actually a chick. That was already the spoiler. I'm not going to spoil anymore. Next would be 6 with Terra, which I really can't speak much about 6 because I haven't even seen a full playthrough. 7, we have Tifa, Eris, Yuffie, kind of all representing these stages of female characters. Yuffie's young, Tifa's... Eh, Tifa and Eris are kind of love rivals, you could argue. And then we have Elena, who's kind of ditzy and stupid. And Scarlet's just a freaking cougar bitch or something. I don't know. Although Cougar might not might be just the first word coming to my head. Eight has Renoa, Selfie, Keistas. Again, it seems like they're trying to represent these different stages of a female character. I mean, we have Selfie, who's akin to Yuffie. We have Keistas, akin to maybe Scarlet a little bit. And Renoa, who's akin to Tifa and Eris together. And Adia is kind of even... Well, Adia might be more like Scarlet then. Nine has, again, similar things. We always have to have a lolly character, practically, as people have observed. Because Riku fits that in ten. Lulu fits the mature woman, and Yuna's right in the middle. Kind of like in nine, we have Garnet in the middle, Freya's the old, and Aiko is the lolly. If we want to have those, those terms brought up into this. And I just realized this off the top of my head again, but, you know... That's what makes these little rants, rambling so fun. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy looking at this one picture that's been scanning across the whole thing, even though it doesn't even include all the females I've brought into this. And uh, next time, I'll be talking about uh, the effeminate characters, which probably will have a little reiteration of Ferris, but either way, it'll probably be shorter. Anyway, see you later.